uh, where are we at? Baseball? Is that where we were? Mm-hmm. That's where we can go. I forgot to mention Shelby Heating and Air sponsoring Saturday morning sports talk. Give them a call, 704-487-7877. Check them out online, shelbyheating.com, for all your heating and air needs. I can play that Panther song again if you want me to. No. Uh, so, the well, city of the queen. Is, is that was a line? Was that a real actual line in there? Yes, the city of the queen. Well, we started on baseball right quick. Uh, my father-in-law got to go down and watch the Honey Hunters. He hadn't watched, you know, any baseball other than, you know, high school stuff. And he, 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 he hadn't heard any of our conversations about the way the baseball's played. And he come and sat down. He says, he said, I, he said, I only saw one run scored. He said it was off a home run. He said, everything happened was a fly ball. He said, there was no line drive. He, he's he's seventy three. You know, he's a, he said this didn't look like baseball. What I was used to. He was taking. Is Frank Viola still coaching him? Yes, he's still out there cussing teachers. <laughs> you know that one, don't you? I told you. You that told one. me. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if he was out there. Frankie V was. I guess Frankie V's living in Gastonia now. I yeah. Who knows where he's living? <laughs> yeah, my GPS took me through Gastonia on the way to the game because there's a wreck on eighty five. Yeah. Some places in Gastonia will. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate what you have. Mm-hmm. Um, All star starters were named. Uh, so let me pull that for you guys. I was looking for something else too, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, American League. Kirk is the catcher from Toronto. First baseman Guerrero. Second baseman Altuve. Third uh, shortstop uh, White Sox Tim Anderson. Third base Boston's Rafael Devers. Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, John Carlos Stanton. And show Otani is the DH. DH for the National League, Bryce Harper. Outfielders, Jock Peterson, Acuna Jr., and Mookie Betts. Infielders, third base, Manny Machado. Trey Turner at shortstop. Jazz Chisholm, Chisholm and Miami is the second baseman. Paul Goldschmidt, Cardinals first baseman. And catcher Wilson Contreras. Full rosters revealed Sunday, 5.30 p.m. There's your all-star starting rosters. Um, what you were talking about the hitting, Zach, a minute ago, I did read an article. It might be, it might have been about your, I think it was about your eBay, um, discussing about um, how that exact thing about how nobody hits that way anymore, and he's been hitting like just a bunch of, he's getting a bunch of base hits doing that. Is just hitting line drives and hit them whether or not they're shifting. And they're like, you can't shift against this guy because he hits it everywhere. Like, welcome to the world, guy, because <laughs> he knows how to. But it, but the baseball thing is the same thing with the basketball. We've talked about this plenty. Is that all right? So the, the game of basketball has changed, right? I just read you the WNBA average score is eighty five. They're shooting all them threes, boys. Still, you're getting eighty five points. The Hornets the other night. What was that final score? Ninety six, eighty four. Terry combined, they shot sixty five threes. That's crazy. Sixty five threes, and you still only got ninety six, eighty four. There's only so much time in these games. Um, so that, a little bit of both on, on these ends, but, but, but yeah, that was a very interesting article talking about how to, how hitting the opposite field and, and hitting line drives is just not in the game anymore. Um, Tommy, where's your, uh, how's the standings going? You guys back in first? I think we've dropped. No, down. we lost four in a row. Yeah. They've had a, uh, they're, they're three and seven, five last row, 10, I believe. Five in a row. They, I mean, I, I, I've, I've already Still discussed place, this team. Uh, it's just. They're they're not going to be a playoff team. They're not going to win that division. They don't have enough hitting. I know I listened to you know guy. Well, they 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 lead the league in like making contact, or they're low in strikeouts and all that. They don't have enough. They don't have enough just raw talent to to compete. And it, even if they do win the Central, well, what are you going what are you going to do with the Yankees? What are you going to do with the Red Sox? You're going to get blown out. You're going to get swept. Now they got that new minority owner who wants to spend a little money. So if they start spending a little money, they'll they, they might be competitive. But you can't be competitive year to year when you're like, okay, got to find a young guy who's underpaid and overachieving, and find like six or seven of those and try to win. <laughs> it's just you can't do it. I mean, you just can't do it. So Terry, well, well the question I have, Terry, well, let's let's play manager, okay? Base is loaded. Oh, I think I know where we're going. <laughs> Base is loaded. Yeah. Maybe the best right-handed hitter in the history of baseball. I agree 100%. Is batting. One one of the best. He's two for two in the game. We yank him. Game on the line. <laughs> and you pinch hit for him with a rookie because he bats left-handed. Gorman. Gorman. 
Is that one of the dumbest things you've ever seen in your life? I sat there. Dad and, got that. Dad was pissed. <laughs> I, 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 I'm serious. I sat there and I watched that and I started to send something out like I did Damian Lillard last night. But I sat there and I'm like, no, I'm waiting till Saturday comes before I mention. Pujols was the guy coming up. <laughs> they pulled him to put in Gorman. Mm-hmm. And he does a routine grounder to second baseman. They mm-hmm. throw him out at first, in and over with, bases loaded. Wow. You're down three to nothing. Pujols is in your lineup. 494 or wow. five home runs, and you don't even let him Terry, have a chance. Terry, 690 home runs. Okay, well, 690. <laughs> We're almost at 700. Okay, 690 <laughs> home runs for him. But I'm just saying, but you pull this guy. It's not like he's been in that situation before in his life. Well, we put a rookie in there. Yeah, right. We you know talk what about think? this all the time. Yeah. Situational hitting. Is I had no clue. The best thing. And then I sit there and I'm like, guys, if y'all don't make the playoff, you need to go back and look at this game right here. Coach, uh, what was you thinking? I did not understand it. I Honest to God. Because they do them logistics. It. What do they call right. it? What do they call oh, it? Oh, that's crap. what they say. Right. They, you know. That his splits, he's batting like one. He was batting like one fifty against righties and two thirty against lefties. Well, you don't even give him opportunity. Here's the thing where, where they mess up in baseball. Let's let's do some math on this, right, Tom? You, you're a math major over there, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> if you're batting two fifty, Terry, that's what twenty five percent. They say it's seventy points higher. If you're batting one eighty the other way. It's it's only seven points, not seventy points, mm-hmm. and it's out of a hundred at bats. Now, if you break it down to ten at bats, you, all you're arguing about is between one point five hits and two point three hits per ten at bats. So again, whatever stat you give me that says your guy is better at two point three and my guy's at one point five, the guy who's got six hundred and eighty three home runs, career two ninety six batting average. He's top three in home run, no top five in home runs and RBIs, but we're gonna pitch hit a rookie for him. Yeah, that just blew my mind. I, I, <laughs> I, I mean, game really, online bases loaded. Yeah, sure was. <laughs> they had just that gum either walked the guy before him three, or something. We lost three to nothing. Yeah. Bases loaded. Pujols up the bat, and they took him out. Well, how would you feel like if you were the guy that's pinch hitting? It's not like he was zero for two. Sometime he had two hits in the game. I mean, but but what what kind of pressure did you put on right. the guy who's right. pinch hitting for Pujols? I mean, that's just stupid. What what did you, what what did, what happened when they crossed each other when that one went up and the other one went back? And he's like, Pujols had two of the five hits in the game, Terry. Yeah. When that guy's hot, you leave him in, right? I, it's like isn't it like not, an old three point shooter? Like if Dale Curry comes in the game at the end of his career, you let him shoot three or four, and if he hits him, you leave him in for a while. That's what Pujols is doing. And I'm not saying they might. It might. I mean, Pujols might have routine grounder to the pitcher. You don't know what he would have done, but I'm just sitting there thinking he never had the opportunity. You heard those old Pacers talk about Bird walking out on the court when he was, you know, what owner or whatever coach, or whatever. He had just dropped ten three pointers without even warming up. I mean, so, they they know how to do it. It's like it's like uh, repetition for them, you know. Terry, mm-hmm. here's your stat for you. What he what? I tell you what he wasn't going to do. Strike out. Yeah, he had to put the ball in play. He struck out in his career 1,376 times <clears throat> in 22 years. He has 3,300 hits. How many at-bats did he have? He has walked. He's only struck out 16 more times than he's walked, Terry, in 22 years. And it, you know, you know, it's only it only crossed each other over the last two or three years. He had more walks and strikeouts before this. What's his career at bats? At bats, mm-hmm. uh, eleven thousand. So, yeah, compared to ten percent, ten percent chance he had a strikeout. Yeah, there's off. a difference. Compared him to who you sent up to bat. I don't even know who it was. Gorman. I'll never forget that name. That was the guy that came <laughs> up to bat for him, and I felt Please sorry for that guy, Nolan Gorman. Yeah, I felt sorry for him. You, have you never heard of Nolan Gorman before that? Well, he's not an Albert Pujols. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? I know who he's not. Yes, That's right. what I'm saying. <laughs> oh well, mm-hmm. in his career, he hey, wait a minute, Terry. I know exactly why they did this. 
Albert's war this year, Tom. Now remember. Okay, yeah. Here we go. They they've got a better record this year than they did last year, Tom. They added Albert Pujols, and Albert's war is negative half a game, Terry. Negative. How do you have a negative war? No, you know why they you got pitched shit? Because Nolan Gorman's got one point three war this year. Nolan Golan. Nolan Gorman. <laughs> Golan. Batting two sixty has one point three war. Who's the coach? I have no idea. Marl, the Fire. manager. The manager. Yeah, the manager. I don't skip. Know. We got a new one. Fiery. Skip. <laughs> it's fiery. <laughs> fiery the skip. I mean, I did. I mean, it blew my mind, too. Jimmy, I was you like, you are kidding you me. Can you imagine Albert Paul? Uh, no, no, Albert, right? Gorman. You, do you know who I am? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so do you, do well, you I mean, know really? who I am? Who wouldn't be comfortable with, you know, Albert Pujols sitting up there with uh, uh, bases like How is that a bad decision by letting Albert here? Again. <laughs> like, who's sitting in the stands like, we better pull Dang him now. <laughs> <laughs> His mom. <laughs> Who's yelling from the his tip daddy? To put his, his, Gorman. his daddy might have been at the game. Well, I want you. Hey, and hey, your dad. Da- you know what? His daddy probably sold a lot of raffle tickets. Right, <laughs> must have. Well, like I said, I want you and your dad to know. Uh, his daddy I was sold a lot of raffle there. tickets. Better get And I started. I started laughing when that happened. His, da- his daddy bought the warm up t shirts last year. that Dennis Quaid you gotta, you gotta uh, appearance on that, that one. I didn't even know you could have <laughs> negative war. Now the stat is even more ridiculous. So, so all the war that Pujols built up before now is going backwards. I, and, they, and they and they have a better record this year than they did last year. I don't know anything about. It. <laughs> all, all I know is it stands for wins above replacement. Other than that, I have no idea. Man. None. This is, this is ridiculous. Now we know why the Angels got rid of him. Yeah, he got negative, negative war, <laughs> negative war, <laughs> negative war. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. awful. Yeah, I thought I, I told him we'd talk about that one too. I'm it's glad you brought that up. You should have. Uh, it's just stupid. Like what the world? Like, I don't. I don't get it. Um, well, if I'm a fan, I'm pissed too. Not just because we didn't get him to play. I didn't get to see him bat with bases loaded. If I'm right. in the stands, yeah. Think about it, you bought a ticket and you get to see how cool else play. And then Gorman, going, come on, Gorman, Brian Nolan Gorman. Do you think anybody bought a Nolan Gorman shirt immediately after that bat? Well, I knew, I knew right <laughs> then. I said, I'll not forget this guy's name. <laughs> I know his last name. I don't know his first, but Gorman's his last. <sighs> All right, JP. Awesome. Anything else in there? Any other news and notes for you, JP? You got any baseball Not for me, no. Week? No? All right. Well, we'll be back in a few minutes. KDC Brock